Thank you, Tony. The people who run the Block Island Ferry are watching and monitoring Jose's track as it gets closer. Right now, ferries are running on schedule, but that could change come tomorrow. Ivan's News reporter Rosie Woods caught up with ferry riders today who weren't letting the choppy water stop them from getting on board. Well, there were not many people getting on the Block Island Ferry this morning, but those that did get on tell me they are not too worried about these conditions. National Weather Service is urging boaters to remain in port until this tropical storm threat passes. But that did not stop the Block Island Ferry from departing on time from Point Judith Monday morning. And I've been checking the weather forecasts uh, pretty much every couple hours. It's rough. I don't mind rough waves. Um, if it gets too crazy, I'll come back early tomorrow. Ferry employees tell me there were fewer passengers than usual for this time of year, but those that did show up did not seem to be concerned that tropical storm force winds and large swells are headed our way. I mean, it's any way you take your chances, but I mean, I'm pretty settled with it, so yeah. Instead, telling me they will not let a cloudy day ruin their Block Island adventure. Yeah, we've never been, so <laughs> it should be interesting. Yeah, I'm not worried about today. Not really beach day either. Yeah. Well, I mean, shopping, right? And employees here at the Block Island Ferry tell me that any cancellations or schedule changes will be updated on their website. In Narragansett, Rosie Woods, Eyewitness News.